Hello everyone, I'm Elle and welcome back to my ethical fashion YouTube channel and today we are going to cover how fashion is highly personal and that there's so many rules that are outdating fashion and making it very over restrictive. So let's get right into the fashion styling rules you should probably ignore and just break going forward. So the first one is matching your shoes with your bag. Now for me it's not personally very necessary to match my shoes and my bags exactly like in the world of fashion this is such an old rule and i think it's dictated by millennials and like boomers and nowadays we need more dynamic and interesting outfits we need that personal touch that uniqueness displaying our individuality for all to see for instance if we like pair a bright bold handbag with like bright shoes it can actually create very cool looks it can create multiple focal points and by not adhering to these strict rules of matching you can actually get more use out of your accessories from your closet and it can actually make a versatile wardrobe a possibility therefore like making sustainability something we can actually practice and not have to buy so many things in the process and then the second styling tip that i'm so over is sticking to one statement piece why can't we create dynamic and eye-catching outfits we should be making bold impressions we need to be incorporating multiple accessories why is everything sitting in a recliner closet and we can try to have some balance and cohesion in our outfit i mean that's definitely important but it doesn't mean you have to be limited to just like one standout item we need to remember that fashion is an art and combining different things can result in something really unique we don't have to be the standardized copy and paste that brands are telling us to be we can experiment we can explore we can figure out new styles new looks new combinations so consider trying things out and then the third rule is avoiding horizontal stripes now these horizontal stripes can be flattering based on how you style them however horizontal stripes have been subject to the myth and the misconception that it'll make us look fatter and that it'll, it's all about like gender norms it's usually like targeted towards women that we can't wear horizontal stripes but actually i feel like it can be a very versatile and like stylish addition to your wardrobe horizontal stripes can add a dynamic element it can transform a simple piece into something that's more interesting to look at it can make it more visually interesting and whether it's like bold or subtle stripes can really bring a level of sophistication and fun to your wardrobe so consider it the next time you're gonna go out and then the fourth rule is sequins are only for evenings well sequins can be something that can be worn during the day not just for the night out and i would highly encourage you to consider pairing sequins with like more casual pieces like denim or a simple tee to like tone it down a little bit to start off but you can just add a little bit of glamour there can be juxtaposition in your outfits there can be casual and some more cute and sparkle vibes in there like we can create the rules we can make what fashion is today and it can also show confidence and a willingness to break these conventional fashion rules so consider trying a sequence tank top with some distressed jeans you can even wear like a sequence skirt with a casual sweater you can and try all sorts of different ways of putting sequins in your outfit it's just not being afraid to do it and then the other rule is tall women shouldn't wear heels now tall women can rock heels just as a short girly so wear, wear whatever you want that's the point okay you can feel comfortable you can feel confident everyone should have the freedom to wear what makes them feel good regardless of their height like I'm 5'9 and I still wear heels because it helps me challenge and break down stereotypes and how tall women should be dressing and looking and by confidently wearing these heels tall women can demonstrate that fashion norms are meant to be challenged and redefined and then the next rule we should be breaking is that plus size women should avoid bold patterns now bold patterns can be incredibly flattering and fun and not just for skinny people okay we don't have to help gatekeep skinny people privilege okay so let's embrace prints and patterns that can make you feel good regardless of your size and plus size women shouldn't feel confined to these boring muted or plain clothing when we can confidently wear bold patterns 
reflect our individuality. I don't want to stay in a box personally and as a size 10 medium top girly I think we need to take up more space versus feeling ashamed of our bodies. Instead I would say let's push for fashion that is an inclusive thing that's empowering allowing everyone to wear what makes them freaking fabulous. And then the next rule is men shouldn't wear pink. Well pink can be great for men honestly they look so good sometimes in it. It can be stylish, it can add a fresh touch to any outfit and we should remember that colors themselves have no inherent gender. Pink is simply a color and there's no reason why it should be restricted to one gender over another. I think a huge part of this is cultural perceptions of color which have evolved over time and now it's turned into that wearing pink is only accepted if you're a woman and if not then like what are you? Well that's toxic masculinity. That's kind of ironic because pink was historically considered a masculine color in the early 20th century. It was seen as a derivative of red which is a powerful and strong color that was traditionally associated with masculinity and the shift in perception came later influenced by marketing trends and societal changes yet fashion is and should be about self-expression and personal style and everyone should have the freedom to wear what they feel in a comfortable way and confident in it regardless of social norms or stereotypes and then the next rule to break is always following a trend. Personal style is honestly more important than following trends. That's just my opinion. Hate me for it. I think we need to be wearing what we love and what suits our personality given fashion is a form of self-expression. Following trends blindly can lead to a loss of our own individuality. Try to see how to slowly wean yourself away from trends and move towards things that you actually really like. And also constantly chasing after every trend can only lead to a wardrobe filled with items that might quickly fall out of style or that you may not genuinely love. And so I recommend adopting a more mindful approach to fashion consumption where we're choosing pieces we truly love, where we're supporting sustainable fashion brands and prioritizing quality over quantity. And then the next rule to break is not wearing socks with sandals. Now this is often a taboo combination that has honestly become trendy and comfortable and fashion trends says a lot. It's constantly evolving and what was considered a big fashion no-no is now a trendy statement. So just think about that for a second because the combination of of socks and sandals has now been embraced by like fashion influencers, designers. It's really been popular but I used to feel like I would die if someone saw me in socks and sandals but it can actually lead to more layers of texture and like an interesting texture outfit. It can lead to more creative styling. So I would say try to pair a very colorful sock with some like neutral sandals or vice versa to create something new that you may have never tried. You can also consider trying out lace trim socks with strappy sandals or you can do like a maxi skirt with some ankle socks. There's so many different ways you can go about it. And then the next rule is to not mix gold with silver jewelry. So mixing metals has often been a big like what are you doing can you dress yourself moment but it can actually lead to very trendy and layered look it can add dimension and add interest to your outfit that otherwise wouldn't have really hit home or been such a personalized look i can also give you more options to coordinate with different outfits you can mix colors together a little bit better for example mixing metals can create more of a harmonious balance or a striking contrast to a uh, sure that previously could have looked very bland or boring you can always try to pair very delicate silver earrings with like a chunky gold necklace to create that eye-catching vibe. So consider starting off small by mixing one or two pieces of gold and silver jewelry together to see how they complement each other and then gradually incorporate more and more pieces to see how comfortable you are with the mixture and how that resonates with you. Again fashion is all about self-expression and confidence so don't be afraid to break the rules and create your own unique style. So yeah I hope this video really helped you explore how fashion is deeply personal and to realize that the rules are very outdated and very restrictive. So let's continue to challenge these norms and confidently embrace our own unique style. Remember, fashion is about expressing yourself and feeling empowered in what you wear. So 
whether that's mixing metals together, experimenting with bold patterns, wearing those five inch heels, rocking socks with sandals, just mixing things together. It can actually be a very great way of knowing yourself. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and put on your post notifications. Until next one, peace and love. Um.